Weeds. Weeds are God's favorites, given as they are magical powers. To grow without water, without soil, without sunshine, without any care or feeding. Seeds so tough to crack the hardest man-made stuff, drink his poisons, and live. If you don't like them, they do that much better. Bloom against your hate for the wild and uninvited. Love to plant themselves in the midst of gardens, frighten the non-natives, give all there is to get. Sorry, that's the happy one, okay? Relax. Relax in this world curled like a cat in a corner basket, found back when flea markets and garage sales were all we knew or could afford, and having, not having, simply a matter of little to choose, except how not to choose it. Choices about rent and enough to eat, Sufficient to distract us from meaningless work and the stranger we slept with, like the nothing we had in common. No experience, no knowledge, no one to protect us. Needful absence to build presence. One day to the next, made out of sunlight and shady warmth left on our wooden porch where we sat wondering if what we heard in the tenor of each other's voices was love or desperation or the thought of facing our void of means alone, going out into streets asking anyone to talk, anyone to listen. Unheard as we were, we stayed, waited, huddled in the same soft arms, night after night. Together against disappointments, failures, friends who laughed and left never to return, parents who died of empty hands, children who arrived asking why they couldn't have what everyone else had, Babies with eyes colorful as mirrors and fingers reaching up at our faces. Alive even in night's patience for fables of promised tomorrows. Infants sent naked out of our doors, shivering inside like we had and still do. Come to think of it. Yeah. Only a test. This life is only a test. Had this been an actual life, you would have been told where to go and what to do. The emergency of your vanishing days responded to with a list of places, people, and things for you to enjoy, get to know, seriously delaying the approaching engine pulling into everyone's station. You would have been directed to tune in wavelengths of existence, carrying secrets of your creation, signals designed to eliminate mysteries of pain and suffering, set to a frequency guided by spirit beings whose benign delight at your joy could lift you like a well-trimmed kite to the highest planes of consciousness. Shelters filled with ambrosia and honey might have opened displaying flowers growing and children playing happily safe and unquestioned innocence greeted you under a golden bower trailing fragrant myrtle and thyme, overreaching an ancient path of wisdom and contentment, leading you down to bright waters singing gently into the lake of all knowledge. In the event of an actual life, please follow directions stitched to the seat of your pants. Do not stop unless you need to, in which case, try cleaning a small unseen spot first. To prevent damaging fabric irreparably, shake contents vigorously before opening. All warranties void where prohibited. Use at your own risk, may cause shrinkage. No salesman will visit your home. What? Was that the end of the poem? That was the end of the poem. Oh, dude, I think we have to go to the next poem.